we came to this godforsaken place in January 1870. It was a terrible winter, bleak and freezing. We lodged with the Holland Shores in a three room cabin. Ten shillings a day was the reason. Much more than I could make anywhere else. Some of us left in coffins. We had three deaths a mile on this line. The lasses hung pictures from periodicals on the cabin walls. At least we had good meals and a warm fire. The camp was on Batty Green and went by the name of Inkerman. Navvies are often rude in language to one another, but to missionaries or strangers who wish to do them good, they are generally respectful. Kind words and deeds are sure to meet with their respect. We shifted 20 tonnes a day and spent most of our money on John Barleycorn. One lad slept it off one night by lying with his head on the rails of the tramway. Next morning on the way down we felt a bump and found his headless body lying by the ditch. That tramway claimed many lives. Any hole was thrown out when the engine came off. She was scalded and covered in mud. Some lazy fools leave an exploded dynamite in the drill holes. Bill Dean was hammering a hole and hit the old stick. His arm and leg were blown off. By the time he was carried down to the hospital hut, blood was running off the back of the cart. William Dean died January 22nd, 1871. John Hollenshaw died January 24th, 1871. Charles Bibby died January 31st, 1871. Frederick Little died February 5th, 1871. The Pennines conquered, we drift down through the ample Cumbrian foothills through stations with stout Viking names like Langwabbe and Lazenby and on into Carlisle. Mm -hmm.